This is a coping saw. I'm going to show you how to use it. All right, right in front of me here, I have my front piece. Now it has a triangle, square, and a circle on there. Now I've drawn that up in the last video to make sure that is beautiful and accurate. Now, as you can see, AO stands for add-on, CO stands for cutout, because cutout, we can only do a circle. So I need to make some add-ons. So for those, I've got this piece. I've got a spare piece here. Now on there, I've already drawn some squares, a triangle, and even a curve shape, just to show you how to do this with the coping saw. Now, as you can see, I've drawn them in the corners. I'm not gonna get it and just do it straight in the middle. That is just a waste, because I've got to cut all the way up here, and then along, and then down. It's just a waste of material, so don't do that. Draw it in the corners, because it's already got nice, two beautiful, flat, square edges there. And even for my triangle, I've got a nice edge there. Now, when we use our coping saw, okay, this is our coping saw, when we use that, we're gonna leave a little bit of a jagged edge. So I don't want to cut straight along that line there. I just want to go off that line just a little bit, like a millimeter or so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my rule and I'm going to put that just on the edge there and I'm going to rule a line. And same across here as well, just like that. Now it doesn't have to be absolutely perfectly accurate. You can just see that it's just off just that little bit. Now, when I use my coping saw, they are the lines that I'm gonna cut so then I can sand it down perfect to the right size. So I'm just gonna go along and just put those lines in for all my other pieces as well. Now, I've just slowed the video down just so I can get this curve. Now, I can't do that with a rule, so I'm just gonna do that freehand and nice and steady. So now I've got all my add-on pieces, all my add-ons, and I know they're add-ons that I'm gonna put there and I'm gonna put my name on them so they can't go missing. Okay, I've got all those pieces. So the next thing is we're gonna use our coping square and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make that easy for you. All right, so I've got you up nice and tall there just to show you what I'm gonna be doing and how to set up your V-board or your notch board. So I'm gonna show you how to set this up using a clamp so that it's easier for you to use your coping saw to cut out your pieces. First thing, you need a clamp. Make sure that you put the handle downwards. If you have it up like that, there's more chance of it getting in the way or bumping yourself on it. So having your notch right over the, the edge of the bench, then closing up your F clamp and tightening that off nice and tight so that the board isn't going to go anywhere. Just like that. Excellent. Now our V board is nice and safe and firm. I'm ready to go and to start cutting for our add-ons. Just going to make sure there's nothing on there. And the V's in there just so our blade can go in there. Okay. Now when you look at it, the handle in the teeth there are just a little bit different. You'll be able to see it when you're nice up close. Just inspect it. Just make sure it's not broken or twisted or anything like that. If it is, make sure you go and see your teacher. Now, all I'm going to do here is to start cutting along the outside of my pieces there. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. I like to get down a little bit lower like this and just getting your finger, just putting it on the edge there. And all I'm going to do is nice and smooth, just going along and cutting on that outside line, leaving a little bit of a gap there. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that all the way through. There we go, I have my piece. Now you can see the sort of the line that it gives it, it leaves it a little bit jagged. And you can see that I've got to sand off on the disc sander, just that little bit just there. That is absolutely perfect and it should be the exact size that I need it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut a few more of these out. Making sure you use your finger, it's always good, just your fingernail there just to help you start off.
little bit of a tip. If you hold it all the way back here, it's gonna lift a lot easier. You need that nice and close. So you can hold that down a little bit better. Now to the hard one. It's curved, so I'm gonna have to, as I go, curve that around. It's gonna be a little bit harder, but take your time. Using my finger, and I'm just going to, as I cut, just move my blade, just that little bit. pieces ready to be disc sanded and ready to be used in your project. So there we go, I've got all my pieces, they can be used and they can be sanded up so they are ready to be glued on when I need them, but they need to be disc sanded. So the next video we need to make, yep you guessed it, is the disc sander disc sander and then I'm going to show you a video on how to use for the drill press as well. Make sure that if something does happen to these now sometimes the blades break. It's okay. Don't be silly with them and they should last but if they do break make sure you go and tell your teacher straight away. We won't be grumpy we just need to know because we want to make sure that our tools are safe and in perfect order for you guys. And that's the end of another video. Hope you liked it. Watch it a couple of times. Write down any notes if you need to. And your project should turn out really, really good. See you in the next video.